I still feel that I am stuck at the same place over and over again. No matter how much I try to get out of it, I just am not able to. And it sucks because everyone mostly goes through that and I know it is okay but sometimes I just want to get done with that. Hey there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel for the people who don't know me. Hi, my name is Krishna and thank you for being here and hope you have an amazing day, amazing time ahead. So this video is going to be all the things that I learned in 2020 and how it made me a better human being I guess. So yeah, starting from the very first, I always believed that 2020 would be my year no matter what. Like since the last few months uh, of 2019, I just wanted to get done with 2019 and I wanted to start over in 2020. I thought 2020 would be my year for, you know, growing and getting things done and starting over again. But a lockdown happened and all of that just made it worse. Other things that I learned in 2020 that helped me grow into a better person, I guess. So first thing that I learned is that not everything is under your control like no matter what you do uh, situation uh, people's behavior and the things that generally happen not everything is under your control not everything goes as per your plan and that is okay and you need to accept it if either in one way or the universe will make you understand in the other so it's better to understand it as soon as possible that not everything is under your control and it's okay it is completely okay if things do not happen according to what you have planned because I learned it the hard way, believe me. Like if people's feelings change and uh, like they uh, don't, they no longer want to be friends with you and it's nothing, it's not wrong. Maybe they don't serve your purpose anymore. God doesn't want them to be, you know, the one who will be down. So it's better to let them, let them go. Second thing that I learned is, is that it's okay to choose yourself over everything else and over everyone else. Like, it's not wrong if you choose yourself and your well-being over other people who just want you, who wants to pull you down. It's okay if you feel alone and lonely at times, cause, cause everyone does, and you will get over it. It's just a phase. That's what I keep telling myself. The third thing that I learned is that you don't need everyone or anyone actually to believe in you as long as you do. But at least I'm happy with what I'm doing and that is what matters at the least. So it's okay if no one is there with you to support you, to help you get through the things that you are going through in the life. It's okay as long as you are there for yourself and nothing else will matter to be honest. Because people come and go, friends leave, they change and relationships, they don't really last forever and forever is just a illusion and stuff. So maybe it's better that you only have yourself. And that is how this universe works anyways. So as long as you are there for yourself, you don't really need anyone else. Next thing that I learned is that nothing in the world is more important than your mental peace. It should be more important to you than your own mental peace. Trust me, nothing in the world is worth losing your mental peace. Because once you are, once you have gone through hell because of other people and you just can't make peace with that, that is the most that is the most hideous thing that can ever happen to you. Just making peace with what I've gone through is the, like, what uh, every one of us has gone through is the toughest part of this all. It's easy to say that you can maintain everything, you can balance everything, but in reality, it's, it's a nightmare. And um, it is not easy to make peace with yourself and peace with all the things that, had, that has happened to you because of someone else. dreams then you need to work for them no one else no one else will like it's your freaking life you only have one life to live take care of yourself the few years or months or days you don't want to look back and think that shit i could have enjoyed but i was just busy overthinking and overthinking and overthinking and that just made things worse i don't know about you but i don't want to do that and things will get better, I promise.
ஸோ நான் வாழ்ந்துட்டு